Wow. That is not news I expected to wake up to this morning. Great actor. Couldn't nobody else could have played Black Panther like that. Amazing. Really good actor. He's been fight he was fighting that colon cancer for four years. So right through the Black Panther era, he was fighting it and never told anybody. Condolences to go out to his family of course, but I think everybody is genuinely shocked. But oh there's just no words. We had to start the video with that picture definitely because it's just iconic now. But there you go. Let's carry on then. My, uh, oh, I'm still still numb from it. Let's get this going because it's going to be a long video. I want to make sure we get as much info to you this weekend. Apologies for being late. I figured I'd have to re refilm it simply because of what happened this morning. So I'm going to get this out as soon as I can. Get it all edited correctly. With all the covers for you guys. All right. Now, Zavi may be 11 years old. That's their moniker for this sale. They're still fucking up though. Now, I am a red carpet member. For anyone who doesn't know, you pay to get some extra deals. Uh, like free delivery. You get told about things before other people. And, uh, didn't really fucking happen, did it? What happens is, when something goes on to a pre-order, we normally get an email about 9am and everybody else will get it about 6pm. So we get a chance to get it before other people. The Back to the Future 4K Steelbook set. I mean, I'm plastering it around my head now. It is beautiful. It is definitely worth it. Even though they're asking 75 quid, it's worth it. I don't care what anyone says, it's beautiful. But it's sold out. Now, my email turned up at 6 p.m. exactly. And I went straight on and it was sold out. Can someone explain to me why I'm paying you for priority access to something and yet again you fuck up? Did you have, what, 20 copies or something? Is this yet another reason why you are losing customers? And if you're, if you're now charging me for the fact you're fucking up, I'm going to say fuck you and I want my money back. It's just getting ridiculous. So now everyone else is going to be, of course you're going to get your scalpers selling it for 100 plus quid now. But this is a something. This is something I really wanted in my collection, like a lot of people did. But yet again, Zavi's ineptitude has ruined it for a lot of people, and you've disappointed your customers again. It really, is a joke. But I, I can't keep harping on about that. But it's just really put on my fucking tit. Oh, I don't know. Let's carry on with the other other things that they've actually brought out. In the cell, we have it chapter one and chapter two as a double steelbook set. Now, even I will say this is beautiful. I've got a good ten pictures to plaster around. Give yourself a second to take a look at what I'm putting around my head right now. For the 54, I think it is 54.99 out on the 19th of October. I don't think that's a bad price. There's been two to four different steelbooks right now with it in it chapter two, but these two are real nice in my opinion. Go well together. And it's a good set to, as a collector edition. I, I think it's definitely worth it. So my hat off to them on that. Very impressive. Next we have the pre-orders gone live for Rogue Squadron 4K Steelbook. Now I'll be honest. I've sold mine. They're all gone. Sold my uh, 4K Blue Ted. Someone picked that up. So hope you like it. Uh, I haven't actually. One of my viewers has picked up everything else. But I've. I don't want to say his name on it because simply I don't know if he wants anyone else to know. But I posted them off today, so he's picked up the other Star Wars that I was selling. Because I was that disappointed. Now, I'm happy to live with the 4K new cover sets that just appeared. I mean, they weren't even on pre-order, pre-release list. They all came out in Australia, yeah. But there was no release list for them here. And trust me, I look at that fucker twice a day. So... They're, they're beautiful and I will be getting them at some point myself. But the, the artwork on the Rogue Squadron is really nice. And as I'm talking to you now, the Rogue, the Solo one has gone on to pre-order as well. This Thursday I think it's going to be. Uh, Big Paulie's already put the cover up on his Facebook uh, group page. So go take a look at that. And if you're not a part of Big Paulie's group page, ask to join because it's brilliant and he's amazing. 
Now, other sales that they're doing, three for 30 pounds on the old 4Ks. Now you may say to yourself, oh God, not the same old shit, because nothing ever changes, but we've got some decent highlights in there. Firstly, we have, I oh, can never get this right, we have 1917. For a tenner, oh yeah, that's definitely worth it. Next we have Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, I really want to pick that up. I've sold my copy of this because I was genuinely disappointed. Yeah, Big Paul, you were correct. Do little. Oh, even at 4K, it's a push to pay a tenner for that, in my opinion. But I still need to highlight it. And then we have Universal Soldier. Fucking oh, awesome, but I really want the steelbook of that one. But, oh, And to me, the biggest bargain... G.I. Joe 1 and 2 in the 3 for 30. So that's two 4K films for 10 quid. G.I. Joe 1 and 2. Very good action films. Definitely, definitely worth it. If anyone wants to buy two out of the three, but can't decide a third one, contact me, because I'll pay the 10 quid to have G.I. Joe, and I'll pay the posters to get it to me as well. So if anyone's thinking, oh, they want two, you know what I'm saying, Paul Robinson, we've done it before. If you can only find two you want, I'll buy the third and I want my G.I. Joes. But that's good. Now, next we have Arrow Buy One Get One Free. All I've done is dressed up the two for 15 in a different skirt. It's exactly the same thing, but there's quite a bit that I wanted to highlight in this, and for good reason. Um, you think Buy One Get One Free, whoop de do, but you've got to think of the box set. You really do. First, we have the Phantasm box set. Look at this thing. I'm plastering it around my head right now. It's $49.99. You may think, oh, but if you're doing buy and get one free and you get yourself another box set of something of a similar price, 25 quid for that box set is fucking beautiful. And we have the Vengeance Trilogy. Awesome films in that box set for $27.99. Another one that you could really get a good price deal on. Now, we have also have the Hellraiser Trilogy. I own this. Uh, $24.99. Think about what else you're going to buy to get the price down on that. American Wealth in London, a classic film. To this day, that freaks me out. It, it, that's the one horror film that scared the crap out of me as a kid. Yeah, I can. I, it's just something in my brain. Ugh, always has been. Next, we have Candyman. A classic release, really. It really was. I mean, I didn't like the still look at as much to buy it. So, yeah, I'd be happy to get that for £7.49. Uh, we also have Weird Science. I mean, I own the still book of this, but again, for £7.49. I like the fact that there's a booklet in it as well, so yeah, I'd probably go for that. One film that shocked me when I saw it, so the brutality in it was The Crazies. If you ever think, oh, I heard of this, I think it is a remake from a film about in the 60s or something, but the brutality of being strapped down to a bed and a zombie walks in and stabs you through with a, like a big pitchfork because, and you can't move. Really viscerally done. It was, it was a good film to have, it really is. 16 Candles, classic John Hughes, etc, etc. That's in there. Big Trouble in Little China. Mine still hasn't arrived from Australia. Do I sound bitter? <laughs> uh, Heathers. A classic Christian the Slater and Ida Rider film there. That's in the two... Uh, Bob and Get One Free. Elvira. Another classic in there as well. Uh, we have The Burbs. One of my favourite Tom Hanks films. That's so funny. And then Battle Royal. That's in there. If you have not seen Battle Royale, you haven't lived cinema. What a fucking film that is. Frankenhooker. Oh my god. Yeah. It is that bad looking, but it's so funny. And we have, we have the original Hills Have Eyes as well. And believe it or not, one of what I'm really, really thinking of getting is the house collection. This is where the Phantasm and the house collection together can cost you forty nine ninety nine. Holy shit, that's a good price set. So, take a minute and actually look through everything they've got on sale there. You think buy one get one free? Yeah, uh, look at the prices. Think about it. It's still you, all it's really done is brought the big box sets into the buy one get one free, and brought some prices down, which is a good thing. Next, we have the steelbook clearance. Now, <laughs> their last steelbook clearance, three titles. <laughs> I mean, God's sake! But there's some good stuff in this. A lot of the usual suspects are in there, but Ferris Bueller Steelbook for eleven ninety nine. Get your ass on them and buy it now. I mean, four quid off, and it's only been out a couple of weeks. Yeah, worth it. Get it definitely. And the Greatest Showman for nine ninety nine as a steelbook. Yeah, yeah. 
awesome film. It's a musical, for God's sake. Do I look like a person who likes musicals? But that film is absolutely fucking stonking. It's amazing. That's all I can say. It really is that good. Get it. And then lastly, the other one thing which I think does actually bring them some redemption after the fuck-ups of the past couple of days is they have some box sets for under £10. Now, we have the Jurassic Trilogy box set for eight ninety nine. Better than a kick in the ass. We have the Back to the Future trilogy. Bit of a sore subject, but for eight ninety nine, if you haven't got it already, definitely worth it. Raid one and two for five ninety nine. Are you fucking kidding me? That's a good price. But wait till I talk about Zoom because they got it even cheaper. Uh, Gremlins, the Funko, the Elf Funko, and the It Funko. I'll put them all here. I love these things. Eight ninety nine a piece. I think they're definitely worth it. But I can't justify spending even that money right now just to have them sat on a shelf because I wouldn't open them. They would just be there as centerpieces. If I had the spare cash, yeah. But there's plenty of other things I've got to be buying at the moment. Of course, my daughter's going back to school soon, so that's going to cost me an arm and a leg and a bollock. That's Zavi done for now. Go take a look. There are some more. Uh, deals coming out over the next couple of days to celebrate their birthday but Zavi I'm saying it to you again get your customer service right whoever's in charge of your customer service fucking fire them hire me if you want I'm a shitload better at it next we have Zoom mm, a couple of good bits but the rest of it is run of the mill but I'll go through it probably won't put a lot of covers up on this one though the weekend deals <sighs> definitely an afterthought with them on this one the only thing worth it is the craft, you know, right here, the craft, four ninety nine, cool film. The rest, what a pile of shit. Two for twenty or fifteen pound each on four Ks. It's all the same shit. Nothing new on that one. Three for thirty. They haven't even got the extras that Zari have. If the, if there's something you need to catch up on, still take a look at it, but you're not going to see much new in there. Zavi have actually spiced theirs up slightly. That's why they get the win on that one. 15% extra off the box sets. You use this code. It's 15BSOFF. Use that code. You get an extra 15% off the box sets that they highlight. And this is where you can save some money. Because Raid 1 and 2 is 4 99 Then you get 15% off as well. And it's post free for Zoom. So if you haven't seen the Raid films. Holy shit. This is the time to get it. Really is. Please buy those films. Uh, the Epic Collection continues. This is where the Star Wars 4K is coming to play at 2 for 30. Definitely worth looking at. But I've gone over those before. So get on the website and take a look at those. They've, they've put their 2 for £10 deal back in place. All I can say is... Oh, there's dick all new in there. It's all the same shit. You might as well just call it clearance. Because that's exactly what it is. There's nothing more. And really, there's nothing else there that's blowing my skirt up right now. So Zoom is disappointing me this week, which they don't usually do. Let's jump over to HMV for a second, because they may not have much new there, but they still have two decent deals going on. Their 2 for 15 premium line, like I say, I've said it before, I don't like HMV, but you cannot knock this collection. 2 for 15 quid on the titles they have in there is amazing. It can't be knocked. Get on there and take a look. You're going to miss out. And the other one. Um, some of the more obscure films is from the network releases. You may not know what it is. Go take a look. You'll recognise some of those titles. But at 2 for £12. Banging deal there. And remember. You can get them in store as well. But there's no, there's no HMVs near me. So sales wise. That covers it for the weekend. I think it's one of the best. Sales periods we've had for a long while that's why i wanted to take a bit of time and just highlight it for you use this weekend get on to the on the website to have a good look around get yourself some bargains and then show it in a video it's the way to do it let's take a look at some pre-orders now because there's a few things that are getting me a bit excited <coughs> yeah you don't want to see that trust me now arrow the Arrow really are kicking ass this year in my opinion. They're doing some really good releases. We have the 4K version of Crash. Crash is a good film. A lot, a lot of millennials ain't going to really know this film. But James Spader, cool film. Um, it's out on the 30th of November. And that is a UK release as well. 
but I think if you're looking for steel books, you can get them in Germany. So take a look at that as well. The next one, which I'm really excited for, it's already got a pre-date release for America, and that's Peninsula, which is technically the sequel to Train to Busan. If you haven't seen Train to Busan, get your ass on that zombie film now, because it is visceral and it is well thought through. Cool film. You think on a train, what they're going to do? Trust me, <laughs> it's filmed extremely well. But Peninsula, get on YouTube and watch that trailer right now. It's fucked up. Um, that's the 24th of November. That's out. Remember, as 4K as well, it will be region free. Next, we have one that is shaking my uh, my thought process when it comes to humanity. Really, uh, Tremors Shrieker Island. They've made another one. I had no idea this was coming. I haven't heard anything in the press, and I've caught a bit of the trailer. Oh, it looks like a TV movie. But it's out the 20th of October in the US, and if you've got all the other ones, you're gonna want it. But that guy, that crazy guy with the gun, does he do any other films now, or does he just do Tremors? It's weird. Don't know how that one sits with me, really. Now, uh, if you're my age, you're gonna know this one, and it's it's on YouTube as tacky anyway. But Deadly Prey and Deadliest Prey was really over the top like a blondie commando type angry man ultimate warrior looking dipshit thing back in I think it's the 80s and 90s but it's coming out in a double pack media book you know like a digi book in Germany the 10th of October go have a look at this I mean you can see I'll, I'll put the cover up of course but yeah there's some tacky looking shit but it looks funny as well next for anybody who's not going to get themselves either the collector's edition or the steel book the normal version of Clueless has got its release date now, 28th of the 9th in the UK. Good price as well. So, you know, if you just want Clueless, good price. Next we have, this one is guilty pleasure, I'd call this. We have Ghoulies 1, 2 and 3 in a digi book for Germany. This looks fucking cool. If you know the Ghoulie films back from when I was a kid, bloody brilliant. Definitely worth a look. You're looking at the 11th of September, that's out, so it's not too long to wait, but it's worth ordering from Germany. We have uh, the Steelbook version of Duel. Uh, Duel is a classic film, but they've gone a slight different way with the artwork. I mean, what do you think of the artwork? I like it. A bit more, bit more like striking, if you ask me. Uh, it's, it's, it's for Germany as well, but it's 8th of October, that's out definitely worth a look in my opinion and lastly this is a classic film but even I'm impressed with the package they put together on this one the Goodfellas 4k collector's edition it's uh, an Amazon exclusive it's out the 21st of September I think it's nearly 50 quid I can't remember the price but take a look at it I mean I've plastered it around my head again it's good looking in that good film definitely definitely worth looking in my opinion and that's the things exciting me at the moment really let me know is there anything else you're looking forward to right now obviously they could have even uh, like announced things while I'm recording this but then I'll highlight it on Monday but there you go now have I had anything turn up at all I did go out yesterday went in the Poundland same old shit same old shit same old shit same old shit I really need to copyright that. Went in a couple of uh, charity shops. No Blu-rays at all. Things seem to have really dried up where uh, around me at the moment. Um, even even the CEXs aren't really getting much more in. Uh, there's nothing really new. Half the stuff that they've got is stuff that I've traded in. So there you go. But I have had the Real Heroes version steelbook for Kickass come in. So I now own. I own three kick-ass steelbooks now. <laughs> yeah. I have three steelbooks. I have the, no the normal real heroes. And I have the normal, normal, normal. So that's five copies of kick-ass. I'm ill. What can I say? I'm ill. Let's look at the important things now. Now, one thing I'm going to do. Of course, when I say important, it's competition time, isn't it? 
supposed to have drawn it yesterday so my apologies for that not happening i wanted to put a bit more effort into this video get the editing correct making sure it all looks good for everybody i just was shocked to have hear black panther passing you know so i just took a bit of time on that one but let's get the competition side of things out of the way now first prize we went for a bit of zombie 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 walking dead series one a good place to start as i keep saying and then we have Deadhead, a nice comedic zombie one as well. That's your prize one. We'll do the draw for that right now, actually. Oh, yeah, I'm still I'm still trying to get through them. Probably be like 2022 before I get the laminating finish, but we'll, you're all still in there. Let's see if we can get some new names out, shall we? Good luck, everybody. Oh, we've got, oh, got one. So the winner of Walking Dead Series 1 and Deadhead is... Ooh, Gavin Fletcher, there you go Gav, you've won them, well done mate, and I like this next prize, we have Smurfs 3D, Smurfs 2 3D, and Smurfs 3, bear in mind, from Australia, in 3D as well, so the 3D trilogy, yes it may be childish, but it's still 3D, you know, can't see any fairer than that can you, let's see who wins this one. Good luck again. Come on. Ooh, who's this? Ooh. And the winner is Julie Cassidy. I'm not mistaken, am I? You're not the one who doesn't have an actually have a Blu-ray player. Let me know. Because if you are, obviously you can't have that. But we'll have to see. And there's one one person that wanted to be into my competitions and she didn't even have a Blu-ray player. So I'm like, okay, I don't think it's you, but. Let me know in the comments down below or get to me on instant messenger and we'll we'll sort it out you know now it's a little extra just for being a day late i want to make sure that you guys stick with me so i'm going to give you a little extra prize away i think this is from germany i think spider-man still with trilogy anyone got a problem with that hey no, i don't think you do need it's nothing thick i think there's about five or six discs in it but I'm going to give this away as a little extra gift to you guys as well. Just for sticking with me for that extra day. So here we go. Extra prize time. Had a bit of money troubles the past couple of weeks. So my apologies for the main competition stuff still not going out. It will be going out. I will aim to have it out by the 15th of September. That's where I'm aiming to have the right money in the right places to do it bills are bills at the end of the day end of the day it's not costing you guys to get it sent to you so give me a little leeway on that and I'll, by the time I get it done I'm actually going to be up to about 23 envelopes so you can imagine what the cost is going to be I have a name so the winner of Spider-Man Trilogy is ha ha Paul Wyeth now look at you son pulled you out about a month ago didn't I think nicely done well done to you as well now I will wait till Monday to show you what the prizes are for next Friday simply because I want to make sure I put a good little package together. There's a couple of things that I might be able to get on Monday which I might put into the competition so I don't want to disappoint and I want to make sure it's nice for everybody. Now I'll get this all edited as soon as I can, get it all sorted, get it out to you before dinner time and hopefully it would have sunk in by then that Blank Panther is actually gone now. Scary scary. He was two years younger than me. That's, that's what really freaked me out. Younger than me. Oh, I feel old now. Take care, guys. Give your family a cuddle. Fuck what they say about COVID. Give them a cuddle. It's not good. It's not a good time, is it, at the moment? But be safe. Hopefully, hopefully you don't get flooded out by the rain over the weekend as well. I'll be seeing you Monday. And remember, across Facebook, across the weekend, you will have the American, the German, the French, and the Australian releases as well. I'll probably have that up by Sunday morning for you guys as well. Nice bit of information, and there's some good stuff coming out. Still a lot of back catalogue, that's the thing as well. Enjoy your night. Take care. I'm going to be watching a film. Oh, and one last thing. It's going to be coming soon-ish. I will have a new lounge tour video because my amplifier has arrived so it will be showing the new setup and it's lovely love it take care guys be safe see ya